Something painful crap, or I can refund your money. At Lens Crafters, no hassles. We'll do whatever it takes to make you happy. Oh, they look great. It's not just a guarantee, it's a promise. Lens Crafters, helping people see better, one hour at a time. Meet the men proving it's never too late to be a dad, tonight at 11. Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program, with Jack Brayboy, Cecily Tynan, Dan Cuellar, and Flora Posterero. Good morning, it's 9 o'clock on this Sunday, February 9th, and on Action News this morning, the first significant snowfall in the Delaware Valley, and as expected, it made for some tricky driving on some roadways. We'll have live reports for you on the latest roadway conditions. South Jersey bears the brunt of the storm as the snowflakes join the casino chips along the Atlantic City Boardway, but some folks act as if they've been waiting all winter for a little fun amid the flurry. And so it seems. Let's go outside now to Cecily Tynan for the latest word from AccuWeather. Cecily, all we need now is a little sun to help melt it all away. And that's exactly what we're getting right now, Dan and Flora. Beautiful sunny day today. It's going to be a great day for the kids to get outside and play in the snow. Right now we have a mixture of clouds and sun in Philadelphia. The temperature 25 degrees. But we have a wind chill of 20 degrees, so don't let the sun fool you. It is chilly out here. And the call from Mackey Weather for today, brisk and chilly throughout the day. The afternoon high, though, will be getting up to 37 degrees above freezing. So the combination of the sun and the temperatures means that most of the snow on the roads will be melting. The problem is, though, tonight temperatures will be dropping into the 20s, possibly even the teens in the suburbs. So that means if you don't have your driveway all clear, of any slush, uh, the sidewalk's clear, it's going to be freezing tonight, so don't be lazy today, get out and shovel, do a little sanding, but uh, we will check out the possibility of some more snow coming up later this week, coming up in the AccuWeather 5-day forecast. Back to you. All right, Cecily, and we have a number of Action News crews out keeping an eye on things this morning. Action News reporter Man Dono is down along the Jersey Shore, and Denise James is closer to Philadelphia. Let's go first to Matt, where I suppose the sun is a welcome sight this morning. Yeah, the waves are too, Dan. Now, in Cumberland County, about 35 miles uh, from here in Atlantic City, they got about six inches of snow, half a foot, quite a lot, and especially in Vineland. Here in Atlantic City, got about an inch and a half or two inches. The waves are coming in pretty good as you hear. So it's kind of like a little winter wonderland for the people along here on the beach. They kind of like it. They're on the boardwalk, uh, walking their dogs, maybe going to a few casinos here and there. So it's a pretty good scene out here. Now let's show you some video and it gives you a kind of an idea of what kind of snow this was for some people early, early in the morning. We caught a couple kids with a shovel and some salt and they were trying to get some of the ice off of the front of their uh, aunt's store in Margate off Ventnor Avenue and they were scraping, you can hear it very clearly, scraping that ice off, trying to get it off. So obviously temperatures dropped overnight and some of the snow turned into a bit of ice. Back here live in Atlantic City, not overkill like it was last year. It's kind of nice to have maybe one snowfall and have about an inch and a half or two inches. Vineland and Cumberland County, a different story, about a half foot out there. I'm Matt O'Donnell reporting live on the Action Cam in Atlantic City, New Jersey. All right, thank you very much, Matt. We'll check in with you again a little bit later on. Now let's go live to Denise James. She's standing by live in Roxborough where Folks are cleaning up there this morning. Good morning, Denise. Good morning. It seems like a pretty normal morning out here, this slow, sunny Sunday morning. I'm here on Ridge Avenue at, at uh, Domino Lane, and there's been a lot of road traffic. People, it's hard to tell if they're slowing down. It doesn't seem that they're slowing down. These roads right here are very clear. I've seen a bit of pedestrian traffic as well this morning. They seem to be using, the walkers seem to be using a little bit more caution because, of course, there's more snow on the sidewalk than on the street. Folks seem to be smiling, though. Uh, one woman telling me she feels like uh, that we dodged the bullet this time, the same bullet that used us as a, as a bullseye last year when we got that big storm uh, uh, last year and all, the, all of that snow. Also, I talked to a number of people who are just out doing their normal Sunday things, out getting the Sunday paper, getting pastries on the way to religious services. So uh, folks seem to be taking things in stride this time and smiling a bit because we didn't get hit as hard this time as we have, as we all know, about a year ago. That's it from here. I'm Denise James, live on the Action Cam in Roxborough. All right. Thank you very much, Denise. Well, this has certainly been very busy for PennDOT, and accident investigators and ambulances have been on the move as well. A 30-year-old man broke both of his legs in a multi-vehicle accident in Fishtown. It happened on northbound I-95 near Girard Avenue last night. There was also an accident in the southbound lanes between Girard and Allegheny. A driver who lost control on Kelly Drive suffered minor injuries after hitting a tree.
There was trouble out in the suburbs as well. A driver hit a median on northbound Route 1 in Morrisville, Bucks County. No word on whether he was injured. And an Action News viewer videotaped a SEPTA bus accident in Havertown, Delaware County. There were no serious injuries, but more than 2,000 Pico Energy customers lost service because of damage to a utility pole. And right now, fortunately, there are no major accidents on the roadway to report, although with the threat of scattered icy patches, you might want to take it easy this morning. Sky 6, keeping an eye on the Ben Franklin Bridge. The Camden side you see here is wet, but watch out on other bridges. Meantime, the action cam is on Warner Road in King of Prussia. You're looking at Route 202 northbound. Traffic is moving well here, and we'll keep you up to date. Well, the blanket of snow covered a lot more than the tri-state area. Washington, D.C. also had this year's biggest winter storm on Saturday. The city poured tons of salt onto trucks, all in an effort to keep up with the white stuff. The effort was not completely successful, according to this driver who traveled from Virginia to New Jersey last night. Alexandria, Virginia is getting worse uh, weather down there than up here. You just came from there? I just came from there. And how was it like driving up? Uh, pretty bad. Uh, the roads were icy. Now the snow south of us will start to melt today as the day turns partly sunny in the nation's capital and temperature there, temperatures there expected to hit the upper 30s. Well, this couple took advantage of the storm's beauty and its lack of high winds and bitter cold by just going out for a walk last night. It was the best chance so far this year for residents to do a little cross-country skiing in Fairmount Park. Now, earlier yesterday, kids turned a small hill in Pensacola, New Jersey into their very own ski resort. While children played, adults did the heavy stuff, shoveling off sidewalks and did the usual Saturday afternoon food shopping. Although many people were outside yesterday, the snow kept traffic sparse on Route 70 and the New Jersey Turnpike. Oh and it looks like many of us are going to get a good workout today, uh, shoveling snow, and uh, we have to get to it because, Cecily, you're saying that it could turn to ice tonight. Uh, that's going to be a problem if there's any moisture left on any roadways, any surfaces tonight. Tonight's going to be very cold, dropping down to the 20s, maybe even the teens in some of the suburbs. So that means any of the slush will be freezing. So you can't be lazy today. You have to get outside and shovel. But then you can go out and play in the snow. And we did get a fair amount, just as predicted. We said between 2 and 4 inches in Philadelphia. We ended up getting 3.3 officially in Coatesville, 3 inches. Now, as you move farther up to the north and west, not as much again as we expected, Reading only 1.9, but then if you move to the south and the east, Haddonfield 4 inches, Williamstown, New Jersey 6 inches, and Wilmington checking in with just a little more than 5 inches of snow, so I think most people can breathe a sigh of relief since we didn't get any 10 inches of snow. The good news is the storm system now is just moving out of here, being replaced by three areas of high pressure, so this is going to bring us a lot of sunshine today. Temperatures are going to be above freezing, so again, any of the snow will be melting by the afternoon. We have a little bit of a system that we're going to have to be watching that could bring us some flurries on Tuesday. It's going to also be forming a coastal storm, but it looks as if one's going to move to the south, one up to the north, so we may get right in the middle with some dry air and a possibility of some more snow or rain on Thursday. The call from AccuWeather, well, it's going to be a snowman Sunday. I know a lot of folks are going to be outside playing in the snow with all the sunshine. Yesterday's high, 36, a little deceiving. That came in the early morning hours. Today, though, we'll be warming up to 37, but it is a chilly start to the day right now. 29 in Will William Wilmington, I can say that, Reading 22, the Poconos 23, Trenton 24, and Cape May checking in at 30 with wind chills around 20 right now. Let's check out the situation live in Sky 6. And that's a beautiful shot, the snow-covered art museum and the Schuylkill there. Right now in Philadelphia, a mixture of clouds and sunshine, 28 degrees, humidity 78 percent, barometer 30.26, holding steady, winds northwesterly at 7 miles an hour, so we have a wind chill of 20 degrees. In Center City, 29, the northeast, in Camden, 28, also 28 at the airport. And here on City Line 29, the exclusive Acu with the Vibe Day forecast going to be beautiful today, but chilly and brisk. The afternoon high 37. Tonight clear and cold. Overnight.